Hey, what's going on guys? John here. Today is February 24th, 2022. Another One Take Daily. And hopefully today, a One Take a Day keeps the vibes in check. And I think a vibe check is very necessary because you guys know that my mantra on this channel will always be about spreading positivity and good vibes. But I'm also a very staunch believer in that it can't always be good and it can't always be positive. We need to also have a reality check. And the reality of the truth today and the conversation that we'll be having today is with, with, respect, with respect to what's happening out there in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe. Uh, Full disclosure, I am nowhere near qualified to speak on these international relations uh, or with respect to what's going on in Ukraine and in Russia specifically. So then I also think it's very imperative that people who don't have uh, extensive knowledge on these matters don't speak uh, on these things uh, as if they know, because I think it's very important that we you know, take it upon ourselves to not spread false information, whether it be whether it be by mistake or, you know, intentionally, I think it's very important that especially in this day and age, we do whatever we can to not spread false information. Uh, so I won't pretend or I won't sound like I know what's going on. The only thing I know is that innocent lives are being taken and innocent lives are being put at risk because of what's happening with respect to conflicts. Uh, with border lines and, and, uh, and things that, quite frankly, in my perspective, shouldn't matter. But it's the reality of the world that we live in. Um, humans are destructive and humans are uh, feeble, in my view. And humans are at a point right now where it is another situation wherein history repeats itself. We've seen these images before. Today, social media, now images start to flood in where there's videos of uh, Ukrainian men having to let their wives and children go on trains and buses and leave and evacuate the city because the bomb the bombings are happening the missiles are flying in there's another video uh, of a of a family who's recording footage outside their window and, and their fighter jet flies by and then moments later you see smoke and then a, a, a missile just just slams into the um, their building and there's there's young girls and boys crying the families are scared and terrified Every mother, father, and child should be able to relate to these and, and, and sympathize to these videos because it could be your family. It could be your children whose lives are at risk. And it's horrifying and terrifying to see. And it's absolutely breaking my heart. Like that video of the Ukrainian man who has to kiss his, his daughter goodbye. The daughter is crying uncontrollably. And the wife is trying to stay. She's trying to stay composed. But it's just a heartbreaking moment overall. And, and things like this should not be happening in 2022. And yet here we are. Humans will always, always continue to make risk, uh, make these stupid, pathetic uh, decisions, and it shouldn't be happening. There, there are more pressing matters that this world should, and humans, humanity, the Homo sapiens species, species should be focusing on, and yet here we are. Um, it is a sad day. I think it's another sad day in history, and I think we'll look back at this again and, and think, why did this have to come down to this? Why did 2022 have to uh shine onto the world such horrible horrible uh events um but here we are the only thing i can say and, and i'd like to end this video by saying is that my thoughts and my prayers go out to the people of ukraine and my thoughts and pe my prayers go out to the people of europe and quite honestly the world because god knows where this will take us um maybe the man up high can share some mercy on us have some mercy on us rather um but yeah, my thoughts go out to you guys. I was getting messages from people on Twitter, people from Slovenia, people from Lithuania, uh, getting concerned and worried that this is only just the start of something dangerous and evil. Um, yeah, it's a grim day. I don't know what the world needs to do to fix this, but yeah. My thoughts go out to all of you guys. Uh, there's a streamer by the name of Nick Merckx, and he's a, he's a wild guy, and he's fun. Some for some, for some, he's boring. Whatever your thoughts are, he always says peace and love, baby. And I think that's very uh, similar to what I say. Mad love always. And as much as there's negativity and craziness going on in the world right now, I think it's very important important from here within that you focus on mad love always, because I think that's very important in our society, especially in this day and age. Um, stay safe, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.